Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Farming with Jay Kusenga Farm where we think green and live green. Fruit farming. Now, we visited Kiboko last year in May with 600 seedlings. 600, I said. I am not wrong. I am saying 600 seedlings planted in one acre. Now, today, we have visited the same farm so that we can do pruning to nine months old trees. Yes, which have started flowering at nine months. We told you in the first video, we, 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 our seedlings, by the ninth month, you've started getting your results. Now, we are pruning so that we get more flowers and it continues to bud more. The advantage you have is that we are here to educate you. Flowering and budding in apple trees begins as early as nine months after planting. Therefore, pruning is an essential part for fruit production. So as you prune, uh, you're going to prune your trees, you need to, you can do this, this is called pinching. This can, um, when your trees are mature, when you do this pinching, it introduces, uh, it makes the water which was in the shoots to go back to the stem. That's make the stem to start producing new buns. And the bands tend to more some tend to be branch bands, uh, all flower bands. So what we're doing because this is a mature plant now, it's nine months old. We want them to start pro producing because it's very healthy and very strong. So what we're doing to do is that we we are pinching them uh, so that they can start forming a f a flower bands so that the trees can start uh, forming fruits. Pruning is done at the end of every season to boost fruit production because pruning helps prepare the tree for the next season. There are different uh, types of pruning. We can prune to produce flowers. We can prune also to, to shape the tree uh, in the kind of state that we need. And also we can also prune to maintain the height of the tree so that we don't want it to grow very tall to an extent that it's not going to be producing flowers for us and also to make sure the, the fruits are very near for us to harvest. So this is what we are doing to the apple tree today so that uh, we can, they can produce. And also these leaves are very good. They are healthy and they are very uh, good for the soil. So we can also uh, bring it back to the tree so that they can form uh, a very good compost for the plant. But if they are not uh, healthy plants which uh, have diseases, you should not put them here, you should burn them destroy the uh, effect of the that uh, are plants which are not healthy. Yellow and brown leaves are not always a bad sign in the farm. Uh, every day you need to scout your farm to understand uh, the nature of your plants and how they are doing. So you need to focus on the general health of the plant, check whether they are pests, whether there are diseases and also any other thing that can affect the plant. And sometimes you can come to your plant and also find some yellow leaves. Uh, yellow leaves is a sign of uh, can be a sign of maturity of the leaves, and they want to fall down. Or uh, uh, it can also be a sign of a deficiency, a deficiency of nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. That is NPK. So you need to know, and when you know what's affecting your plant, now you have a solution for your plant. For arid and semi-arid areas, irrigation is done to ensure the trees get at least 20 liters of water a week. In any area of this world, be it arid, semi-arid areas, apples can really do well um, in this kind of areas, environment. What you must have is that you must have water. And this is an example of how you can have piping, water piping in your fruit orchard. Like for example, you have these, these strong pipes and then you have the drips. Uh, that are, uh, are directing all the water to the trees. This is a button tree. Uh, it tends just to focus on the tree uh, rootstock, on the tree roots, that is, the tree roots. So you, the, only, uh, the, 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 the water is, is only going to the roots. So it's, and your tree are going to grow so big. So in arid area, they grow, they tend to grow very big and very vigorous because it is very hot and then when you give them enough water, enough nutrient that is manure, the tree are going to grow very tall and the production also will be very high because they get enough nutrients, enough water for the plant. Trees can also be injured. Um, this tree has been injured and an injury is a tension of the plant uh, from some causes. Maybe one can be this tree. Like example, you can see in this tree, the string which we had tied here and injured the plant. 
So that is one cause of injury. So pruning is an injury, but uh, the pruning one tends to heal very quickly. Um, also, a person can break the, the branches of the tree. So that is also an injury. And you need to work on them and protect your tree from that injury. For a branch like this one, you need to cut it, prune it very well to an extent that it will not affect a uh, pest like uh, spider mites and also aphids. So that when the flower forms, because the flower tends to form in the, uh, new, sh the new shoots, uh, they will not fall down and get diseases. So basically what you do to this plant, you prune it in a way, in a, in a place where there, it will not go down to the ground like this place. So when the flower forms here, it will still be on the tree. But when it would have formed with this branch, they will go even down the, near the, the soil, which is not good. So basically that's what you do when the plants, uh, the, the tree is not strong enough and the, the branch is not uh, strong enough to hold many fruits. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> Someone wants to have a sheepish smile. I don't know how sure that is, but you can leave a drop. You can drop a comment on the on the comment section as well. I know if it is true. But anyway, we have come to the end of our episode today, and our lesson today is pruning. Prune so that you get more fruits. Prune so that you get more flowers, which will become fruits. The lesson goes all the way down. But the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. I will leave you with a saying that uh, my grandmother once said. He said it in our language, but I will translate it. If you see, uh, if you see an elephant walking, there has to be trees around. If you see us in your farm, there has to be fruits around.